right? Yeah. And hey I guys, it's me, Brooklyn. <laughs> I like to Brooklyn Cash. It's supposed to go. Today I'm here with my little brother. Nope. Cash. And today we're going to be talking about back to school because it's almost back, back to, to school. school. But what we're really talking about. Just throw it out the window. Is, Yay! Is um I'm flying. That some of you are going to school for the first time because you're going to go into mm -hmm. kindergarten. Um, I already passed kindergarten, so I'm going into the first. Grade. Yeah, Cash was new last year, but some of you are new, so we were going to talk about that. But um, we just wanted to tell you guys not to be scared. School is really fun, right? Okay, so. What happens is, so, when you're, you know, out the day before you are going to go to school, so the next day you're going to school, you're, you want to sleep, like, very early, very, 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 very early. Very early. So you have to be up early, early, early in the morning. And then, so you go to sleep early, and you wake up early in the morning, so you got hardly any sleep. Unless you have half day of kindergarten, but some of you don't have that. But um, so you wake, you go to sleep early. You wake up early, so I guess you do have a, like your normal amount of time because you go to sleep early instead of the time that you usually do, unless you obviously go to sleep that time. But anyways, so you your morning starts off with your parents waking you up very early in the night. Not in the night, but if they do, because it takes you a long time to get ready, then they will. But if it doesn't take you that long to get ready, then they'll just wake you up like early in the morning where the sun's still coming up. But they get you up, they tell you to get in the bath, and then to eat cereal, and then to brush your teeth, and then to brush your hair, and then... You just have to get ready, and get your backpack, and get your lunchbox, and they're rushing you, they're rushing you, and you don't even know what's going on. And you don't even have the time to get in your bath, play with your toys, play with the bubbles. You have to get in, wash yourself, get out, dry your butt, get dressed, eat breakfast, <laughs> brush your teeth, and brush your hair. I like going and then to school. You get your lunch, unless you're hot lunch, which hot lunch is technically where you have lunch at school, where um, the people who work there and make lunch, they they leave out food and you get to pick what you want to eat. But if you're getting cold lunch, which means, it doesn't mean that it's temporarily, temporarily cold, but that means your parents packs it for you, so you get your lunch, and you get your backpack, and you get everything you need, like notebooks, and folders, and whatever you need, pencils, um, pencil cases, so those these are the things you are going to need. You're going to need a backpack, a lunchbox, a pencil case, erasers, pencils, um, maybe markers, color pencils for if you do coloring, but you're going to need all that stuff, and depending on um, where you live, you're either going to be taking a bus to school, or you're going to be um, driving to school in your car with your parents. So, um, if you ride a bus, your parents will go to the bus stop, which will be like in your neighborhood somewhere and um or like outside of your neighborhood but you'll go there and then when the bus driver comes on a big bus it's like not like a bus that you guys are um normally um is that what i'm looking for the bus that you're normally on with parents and hardly any kids it's a bus with only kids there are no parents except for the bus driver the bus driver is the only parent on that bus and um your parent tell you that you have to get on that bus without them and you're like what so there will be kids like much older than you they will be kids in kindergarten first grade second grade third, third grade, grade fourth, fourth grade, grade and fifth, fifth grade, grade because they all live close by in close by neighborhoods sixth and then grade. after you pick up all the other kids and all the other close by neighborhoods you go to school you sit either alone or with someone Someone depending on how crowded the bus is, and if you're lucky, you'll make a new friend there before you go to school. As soon as you go to school, you have to listen to the bus driver, you have to listen to your teacher. The teacher says, shh, what do you do? 
be quiet. Um, if you're a parent, I mean parent. If you're te- if you want, if you have to, if you want to ask a question or go to the bathroom, what do you do? Or get a drink of water? You raise your hand like this, or up higher, but you raise your hand all the way as high as you can. Don't shake it around. Don't say, um, Miss. Hello, um, hey, hey, hey. You just raise your hand quietly. Right, Cash? Mm-hmm. So I remember in kindergarten I had half days, but Cash didn't because we went to we go to a different school now. But um I used to have half days and um we would actually stand outside of the gate because there was like a separate gate for kindergartners. Like there were two one class right here for kindergarten and one uh, class right here for kindergarten and then they had the kindergarten playground for us two those two classrooms or maybe it was three but and then there was a big gate all the way over there on the other side of the school that was for like all the higher grades like first second third third fourth fifth but i know for some of you that's different and you just go by the big ga- gate there's a whole bunch of people and if um, even um if you don't ride the bus, or if your parents are just driving you, like, for the first day, then they'll walk you in, bring you to your teacher, or maybe they'll bring you to your classroom, depending on where your school is, but, <laughs> is school fun? And yeah. And yeah? And you learn how to, you guys need to know how to write your name in school, because you're going to need to do that on your papers when you do stuff. You're probably going to be coloring on um, in kindergarten for like your first day because that's what a lot of kindergartners do so make sure to bring markers and color pencils right cash mm-hmm. yeah even though we're getting new pack packs new water bottles and new lunch boxes so we don't have to do so we don't have to have those dirty ones they're not dirty i know but inside of my backpack it's dirty it has blue down the side of it i don't know why it has it but no, it no, does. That's just paper. Uh, anyways, so school is a lot of fun. Um, you have to listen to your teacher. Ow. Don't not listen to he, her or he or him or like yeah, because then you'll get in trouble. So you have to listen. If she says to go on the carpet over there, then you better go get up, push your chair in because you're gonna have a desk, like your own, your very own desk. You can put. So, like, no one can go to that desk. And if they do, then they'll probably get in trouble because they should ask you if they need if they need to borrow something like a pencil. And you should probably say yes. And if you want to ask someone else for a pencil because you don't have one or a color that you don't have, like a and marker or a color pencil, then you say, may I please have a th- marker. And be polite to them. Polite. Um, but if you, your teacher says to get up and go to the carpet, you get out of your chair don't bump anyone in don't don't bump anyone in don't bump anyone and um don't run because you're not allowed to run don't run school rules um but get out of your chair don't just go to the carpet get out of your chair push in your chair and then go to the carpet and sit crisscross applesauce do you guys all know how to sit crisscross applesauce yeah i know how to do it you go like you go like this first and then you put like that um, I don't know how to show you because I can't see that. <laughs> I'll lift you up. Oof. Like this. Oof. Oh, Chris God. Crisscross Chris 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 applesauce. Chris applesauce. Right here, I don't know if you can see his legs, but they're crisscross like a pencil. So for all of you who don't know how to sit crisscross applesauce, goodness, my leg hurts now. Oof. That Ugh. position. But you say crisscross applesauce like Stop. that. Um, unless your teacher says that you don't have to or something. But, yeah, you do that. And back to your desk. It's like a square. Um, no, mine's, mine in kindergarten was like this. That's a square. Well, yeah, it goes like this. And then there's a big open opening. Yeah. And you can put, like, folders and notebooks and your pencil case in it. Or, like, any of your stuff. And no one else can go in it, like I said, because all the de- everybody has their own desk. But if they need need something, they should just take it. Or you can raise your hand and say that, that because they should really ask first. But you can ask what they're doing first, and 
maybe they just don't know, so you could say, okay, but next time ask me, please. But anyways, um, when you go into the hallway, so um, when you go into the hallway, you have to stay in a single file line. If you guys don't know what that means, that means you have to stay um, behind each one of each other. You don't get to just run. You don't get to go wherever you want. You have to stay in the line, and your teacher will guide you to where you have to go. Like, there is art, where you get to color. There's PE, where you get to do fun games, like songs. Yeah, maybe. Um, library, where you read books and get to check out, like, two or one book. But you have to bring it back on the next, next day. On, I mean, not on the next day, on the your next, um, uh... Uh, your next, um, what's it called again? Uh, library day, or your next library day. There is music where you get to do, like, songs and stuff. And there's one more. Computers, where you get to do stuff on computers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's also a lunch room, right? Sissy, sissy. And when you, like, walk into, if you don't want to, like, walk into the gate, and you walk into the lunch room where you have breakfast. If you didn't have breakfast and you were too that's late, that's only for some schools. Yeah, but um, yeah, we have breakfast like early in the mornings. But I'm pretty sure they don't have that on like the first day of school. But there is lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Where there's a big lunch room oh, where gosh. they have food. Where that's so you get your cold lunch out of your backpack, or if it, you had to like get it out of your backpack in the beginning of the day and put it somewhere, like I have to do, like I have to get my lunchbox out. So there's like a rack where you have to hang your backpacks, or unless unless you hang it on the back of your chair. But I remember I had a rack that I had to hang my backpack on, and then up top was like a little thing for your lunchboxes. And so we would grab. So you get your lunchbox or your lunch card. No, wait, you don't have a lunch card yet. You have like a piece of paper or something. Because you didn't have picture day yet, which is that's like not for a long time. But you get your lunch and you get to go to the lunch room and get your hot lunch from either like get your lunch from from the um, lunch ladies or lunch men, depending on yeah. We had lunch ladies, sometimes we had lunch men, but mostly lunch ladies. And um they give us our Food, you give them your piece of paper card thing, or maybe not, but you would do that. And then if you had your cold lunch, you would sit in a table. So a at a big table. table. A big long one is ours, but at my old school, it was like there were two different tables and it was short, but in the and our new one, it, it's like very long. They don't like cut it, but there was like one table right here, one table right here, one table right here, and yeah. kindergarten. Yeah, but, um,. So after you eat your lunch, you don't you just like wait, and then there's trash or recycle where either two people come with a trash can and a recycling bin, which the recycling bin is for not food, just for containers and stuff. It's the blue one, and the black one is for your food and stuff like that. And then after you do all that, um. Then when they dismiss your table, you don't go yet. You just put your head down and you wait. And when they dismiss your table, you get to go out a door. And there are parks. There are parks. There are little parks. And there might be two, but you have to go to the little kid one because you're not in, like, third grade yet, which is usually when you get to bump up to the bigger one. So in and kindergarten, there's usually, like, a really small one. And then, like, when you get to first grade, you get a bigger one. And then when you find, so then you have that same one in second grade. But then in third, fourth, and fifth, then you have a bigger one. So you have to go to the little one. You can't go to the other ones. Um, there's also, like, a big thing of grass that you can play in. And it's really fun. Yeah? I'm going into first grade. Yeah, that means you get to go to a bigger playground. Have you seen it before? Mm-mm. You have. Remember you went to it in PE and you played on it like in the last, the, the like day before the last day because your PE teacher, because our PE teacher was, was like, you'll be going to this playground next year. So that means when you're in the lunchroom, you'll be going a different way out. How? 
because the other playground, not the kindergarten, the kindergarten one is that way, and the other one is that way. Okay, but anyways, guys, don't be scared of school. It's really fun. But anyways, guys, we have this sadly ending here. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And don't be scared on your first day of school. We'll have so much fun.